Hey everybody, Hi Tech Hillbilly here. So, I wanted to show you using Vetric Aspire how to drill tapered holes in material. There are a few different methods that are available, but I just wanted to show you the one that works best for me. So, this method works with VCarve, VCarve Pro, and Aspire, and it might work with some of their other applications that allow you to drill holes. I'm not familiar enough with uh, some of the other applications. So if you have it, look for it and see if this will work for you. So here we have some holes. The size of these holes, each hole is a quarter or an eighth of an inch. And so what we're going to do is we need to taper these holes. This material here is only a quarter inch thick. So let's look at the size. It's a quarter inch thick. Let's make it an inch so that you can see the dramatic impact that these tapers will have. So we're going to make that that thick. And now we're going to create a tool path. We'll just grab these holes here. Create a tool path. And I've already got a ball nose selected. So you're going to use a tapered ball nose in your bit selection. And tapered ball noses come in different angles. And you just pick the one that's right for you or right for your taper. I'm just grabbing a random one. It doesn't really matter for me. So I've already set this. So this, since this material here is one inch thick, I need to set the drill hole just shy of the depth of the material. This was set to 0 0.21 because the material is 0 0.25. So let's make this 0 0.90. So we're going to cut through 90% of the thickness of this one inch material here. So I'm going to calculate that. I'm going to run a preview. And there you go. You can see that the holes are tapered. Now, you just buy a bit that's the degree that you want your taper to be. And that'll be it. Let's try this. Let's redo this. Let's make it 0. Dot, actually, let's make it 1.1. One. I want to cut through this material now so that you can see what it would look like on the other side. Alright, let's look here. See on this side the smaller holes? And then on the top you have the larger holes. So if you have parts that you need to fit into there or if you just need the tapers, that'll work. That's exactly the way you do it. Anyway, so that's how you do that. Now let's look at the other material size that I was cutting on. We're going to just change that to 0 0.25 thickness. I'm going to fix the tool path. We don't want to go that deep because it'll just destroy everything. So let's go 0 0.21. It's not going to go all the way through the material. And it'll show us a slight taper once this is done. Now I don't even know if you can really tell, but you can see it. This is a quarter inch material, and you can see the taper. See that? Now we can try another set. Let's do this with two different bits. Hopefully I have something in the database that 
let's see here, has different angles. So there's a 5.4 degree bit. And this one is three point nine two. So these should be different. Let's clear this out. Let's go back to the 2D. I'm just going to select a couple of holes here, one at a time. Keep this one. This is with the Jerry bit. And then we're going to create another one with this hole here. with a different bit. So here's the a mana bit. Let's calculate that one. Drill hole one only needs this guy here. Let's calculate him. Alright. Drill hole two. Calculate him. Now, let's reset everything. And there we go. Now let's go look and see if, I don't know if we can tell. Yeah, you can see the different taper sizes. The one on the right is less dramatic than the one on the left. The one on the left has a smaller interior hole. The one on the right has a larger interior hole. So that's how you do tapered holes in a spire. Just make sure if you have different sizes of tapers that you remember to have those bits assigned to the correct hole. Alright. Thank you for watching. This is High Tech Hillbilly out.